In this video, we're going to build a form that allows us to add new contacts to our list of contacts on this page. And in building this, we're going to create a Django form class. And later on, we're going to use HTMX attributes to control how the form is submitted and how it adds new contacts to the page. So let's get started. And to begin with, we're going to go to VS Code and we're going to go to the forms.py file. Now this is a Django convention for building forms. You create a forms.py file within your Django app and you can create Django form classes here. And what we're going to create is a contact form. And that's going to inherit from Django's forms.modelForm class. And within that, we create a meta class. And we're going to tie the contact form to the contact model. So what we need to do at the top from the models that we have in this application is import the contact model. And then we tell Django what fields on the model we want to create form fields for on the front end. So we're going to create fields for the name of the contact as well as the email address. And I want to manually define these actually on the model form. So for example, we're going to create the name field explicitly on the model form. And it's going to be a forms.car field. And we're going to pass a widget into this and that's going to be a forms.text input widget. Now the reason we're doing this is because we're going to use some attributes here. And for example, the class attribute, we want to set that to some classes from Tailwind CSS on this text input. Now I said Tailwind CSS, but actually I meant Daisy UI. So Daisy UI has this input class and we also have an input bordered class as well, which adds a border around the text input. And we're also going to add width full. And we can also add other attributes. For example, we can add a placeholder to the text input. And this is a name field for the contact that we're adding. So we'll give it a placeholder of contact name. Now I'm going to copy this to the line below and we're going to change a couple of things. This is going to be for the email field. And rather than a car field, the forms module in Python actually has an email field. So we're going to use that. And we're going to use the email input widget. And the last thing I want to do is just change the placeholder to email address. So we've now created a simple Django form that contains two fields, one for the name of the contact we want to add and one for the email address of that contact. We're now going to take the contact form and go to views.py. At the top, we want to import that from the forms module. So I'm going to paste this line of code in from contacts.forms. We're going to import the contact form and let's now go down here. And inside the index view, I want to add a new key to the context dictionary that we're passing to this template. So we're going to add a key called form and the value for that is going to be an instance of the contact form. So basically our form class is now available in the template. So we can go to contacts.html and above the table that we have, which we've included here as this contact list partial, what I want to do just above that to begin with is just render the form out. Now this is not going to look good, but we're going to fix it up. So let's go back to the application. And when we refresh this, you can see the contact form appears here. And that's not ideal. Let's say we want this above the search bar because the search bar should be near the table. So I'm going to move this form just above the search bar as well. So let's go up above this label here. And just underneath the contact manager, we can render the form. Now, as well as just rendering the form, we're going to create a form element in HTML. And the method for submitting this form for now is going to be a post request. And let's add some margin bottom to the form as well. And don't forget to close the form just below. Now in Django, when we send a post request using a form, we need to include the CSRF token. So we can use that template tag to include that in the form. That's going to add a hidden input element to the form itself that's going to be submitted along with the other fields. Now, rather than rendering the form like this, what I'm going to do is render each field individually. So let's start by adding a div here and we're going to use the Daisy UI class of form control. And again, let's add with full here to that div. And what we can do within that is reference the fields individually. So let's create our label for the field. And we're going to give that a class of label, which again comes from Daisy UI. And because this is for the name field, we're going to create a span here. And again, using a Daisy UI class of label text, we can add that field or that label rather of name. And we can close the span and the label just below here. So we've added the label. We're now going to add the field itself. And we can do that simply by referencing form.name. And that's going to take the form class and it's going to reference this name field and render that out with these classes that we've added here. So that's going to take care of that. And the final thing I want to add to each form field is a space for form errors. So if the form name field contains errors, what we want to do is have a label here with the class of text error. And that's going to give it that error color of red. And then we can render out each error using this syntax here. Now that's quite a lot of code. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it on the line below. So let's go here and add the second field into the form. And we need to change a couple of things here. So rather than name, the label is going to be email. 
and the form field that we're referencing is going to be the email field this time and we need to add that to the errors as well so we can add that here. Now there's one last thing we need to add to this form so just outside of these divs we need to add a submit button. So let's create a button here of type submit and we're going to add the button and button primary classes from Daisy UI and the text will just say add contact. Now let's save this and go back to the page again and we're going to refresh this page and you can see this now looks a bit different. We have the form at the top, we have the submit button here that says add contact and then we have this search bar just below that. Now this looks okay but we want the user to click a button and instead of showing all of this in the one page we're going to show the add contact form in a modal. So in other words we want a button that when we click that it's going to pop up a modal on the page and then we can submit the form using that modal. So that's coming up in the next video.